What's up, folks? We're doing something we've never done before. We are going bike packing. Just rode this bike down about four miles of an old service road out here in the forest. This is a cheap Walmart mountain bike I got for about $75. Got all the gear I need to camp with me on this bike. Let's do some camping. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Check it out. All right, this is as good a spot as any to camp for the night. I could hang my hammock across these trees behind me. It'll work out well. Let's talk about this bike real quick. All right, as I said before, this is a cheap Walmart mountain bike. It cost me about $70. It's made, it's called Hyper. Uh, she is heavy. I'll tell you that much right now. It is a heavy, heavy bike. Uh, going up hills on this thing. It's kind of a challenge, especially because the gears don't shift really well. I can either figure out how to adjust those myself or have somebody adjust them for me. She's super cheap. It has road tires. It does not have mountain biking tires, which made this a little more difficult. <sighs> it does have a uh, little springy thing here in the middle. It doesn't seem to do a whole hell of a lot. It's not a good bike guys it is not a good bike all right guys so up here top on the back of the bike i've got my free soldier tarp i've got a silky gone boy saw k-bar inside the dry bag is my outdoor vitals aries 20 hammock sleeping pod thing uh, and there's also my hammock is also in here uh, up front let's take a look at that all right, in this bag up front, I've got my Luminade pack light, the front zipper, the big pouch. I've got food, headlamp, more food, hammock straps, and my spork. In these side pouches, in this one I've got some fire starter, an extra knife, over on this side, I have tea and hot chocolate. That's all I have. That's all the gear I've got. It's a pretty minimal trip. Let's make the best fit. Oh, I do have right here some additional 550 cord. Let's set up camp. All right, there we go. Outdoor Vitals, Aries 20. Sleeping, hammock sleeping pod. Woo! It is toasty. Clearly I don't need that right now. All right, so it is 9.15 p.m. Definitely, definitely, definitely time for dinner. I've got stowaway gourmets, jambalaya with shrimp, classically spiced shrimp and vegetables with rice. So this company is out of Tillamook. Uh, yeah, they are out of Tillamook, Oregon. Stowaway Gourmet in Oregon, USA, P.O. Box 1073, Tillamook, Oregon. 
So, to, uh, in case you don't know, we are about 70 miles as the crow flies from Tillamook. So we're pretty, we're pretty close actually. We might have to uh, one day make a pilgrimage up there to Tillamook. I've always wanted to paddle to Tillamook Bay, so maybe this would be a good chance. Uh, we're gonna cook this up and have it for dinner. I'm starving. It is, again, it's uh, 9, 16 p.m. It's, uh, you can't tell, but it's not exactly dark yet. My headlamp's on. There we go. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna cook this up. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, heat up some water and then we're gonna add it to it and that's gonna cook it up. So we're gonna get to that. Uh, give me just a little bit and we will take care of it. What are the directions on here? Uh, open pouch and remove and discard oxygen absorber. Add one and a half cups of boiling water. Stir well and reseal zipper. Let's stand for 10 minutes. This is actually pretty standard for these kind of meals. Uh, if you ever get these um, uh, backpacking meals, very, very, very standard is let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes. I think uh, a couple of them are 20 minutes. This one's 10 minutes. So let's get some water boiling and uh, we'll give it a go. Jog on! All right, we got our boiling water here. Me and uh, me and my buddy uh, Grogu here. We're gonna try out some uh, jambalaya with shrimp, huh? What you think? You guys think it's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be all right. It gets dark out here really fast. You ever notice that? How fast it gets dark in the woods. Oh, that's hot. Oh, my sweet mother. That was not smart, Russell. Imagine that. Hot things are hot. All right. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Take the oxygen absorber out. Hmm, a little taste more water. So I'm not too confident about this. Um, never had shrimp that's freeze dried. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, she's pressurizing. Gotta shake these up pretty good, get all the moisture in. You guys like these backpacking meal reviews? Um, a couple people said that they really have been enjoying them, so I'll keep doing them. Anyway, still wiggle ray. Jambalaya with shrimp. I am a big fan of jambalaya, so let's see if this is good. Best jambalaya hands down in the entire known universe is at the Blue Bayou at Disneyland. I'm going to be there in like 80 days. And I'm going to eat some. Who has two thumbs and is eating at the Blue Bayou in about 80 days? This guy! These bits are stupid. Hey, uh, so in addition... I've got some hot chocolate with me tonight. So, brought two different ones. This is uh, Land of Lakes Cocoa Classics. We have mint and we have salted caramel. Which one do you think? Which one do you guys think I should have? Mint, salted caramel. You actually don't get a vote. I don't know why I'm asking you which one I should have. Because I've already decided I'm having the salted caramel. This one right here. It's going to be delicious. Stick around. We're gonna let our uh, jambalaya cook up and uh, drink some hot chocolate. Oh. Uh, all right, we are back. 
We are back with hot water for our hot cocoa, the salted caramel and chocolate cocoa mix from Lando Lakes Cocoa Classics. Oh no, this stuff doesn't tear open. It's alright, I got a knife. Give me a sec. Standard operating procedure is to use a K-bar to open all your products. Right? All right, let's give this a try. Well, we gotta stir it first. Got ourselves a little kooksa here. This is, uh, I don't know who makes this, but they win a lot of awards, apparently. Ooh, that is thick. Probably didn't add enough water, but I couldn't add any more water. Well. Good enough. Ooh, tasted it off the spoon. So good. Oh, salted caramel. Oh, that really hit the hit the old button right there. Anyway, let's try out the uh, jambalaya, shall we? Salted caramel is good, guys. So it's been 10 minutes-ish. Ooh, smells really good. You guys aren't going to be able to see this very well, so I won't bother showing you. i got to clean the chocolate off my off my spoon. I'm going to use a fork side. Alright. Oh, we got us a big old piece of shrimp in here. Bon appetit. Let's enjoy this uh, jambalaya with shrimp, huh? Mmm. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. It's actually good. Wow. So, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a whole other meal with me because I was honestly really expecting the worst. Because I'm not so sure about shrimp being freeze-dried. But, just like uh, Mama used to make. My mom never made jambalaya. Mmm. Big ol' shrimp. So, This is good. Um, I know a lot of these that I try are um, are pretty good, and that's just kind of the truth of the matter. A lot of these companies um, spend a lot of time and resources trying to make the best meal that they can make. If they make continuously make garbage, nobody's going to want to eat it. That oatmeal I had at Waldo Lake a couple of years ago in 2019, that was gross. You can try it out for yourself if you like. I did have the oatmeal's pizza one, and that was pretty good. But that one oatmeal, guys, that was disgusting. That was unedible. Stowaway Gourmet out of Tillamook, Oregon. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being in Oregon and that means I can buy local. And I like that. I like to support local local business he is. Mmm. Um Mountain House is actually also made in Eugene. Did you know that? Um Eugene's about two hundred miles from where I'm sitting right now. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm in the Cascade Mountain Range. No, 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 no. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually in the Oregon Coastal Mountain Range right now. Um, 
the river, which I haven't actually even taken you to yet, is behind me about a quarter mile. I'm going to uh, finish eating this. Probably go to bed. I'll check in with y'all probably tomorrow morning. Definitely going to finish my hot chocolate here. Go over my Instagram page. I took a, about a hundred photos out here um, of just doing things. You can check out many of them over on my Instagram page if you want to. Alright, so I'm going to finish this um, jambalaya shrimp with shrimp from Stowaway Gourmet. While I got you here, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by January tw or January 1st, 2022. If you think you want to be a part of it, if you want to check out these adventures I'll go on, cool. If you want to get more uh, fun meal reviews, cool. Subscribe to my channel. That's all you got to do. You'll get more of the gear, more of the food reviews. A couple gear reviews here and there. I really am not a super big fan of doing gear reviews. Just because there's so many out there. Uh, I like doing these much better <clears throat> because I like food and I eat food every day. So check, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Lately a lot of people have been commenting, um, I just want more people to comment and tell me what they think of this video. Hit subscribe, like this video, comment, watch more videos, share the videos, and all that happy stuff. I'm going to eat and go to bed, drink my uh, salted caramel and go to bed.